Because you can! What's going on? We got an espresso stout from Switzerland. All right. Here we are. And I'm going to try and pronounce this brewery's name. I um, guarantee I'm going to fail, but it's uh, Choice Dames. There you go. Maybe that was right. I don't know. So, uh, espresso stout. It says something else. S-T-E, Kroix or something. I don't know what that means. Alright, so, huge shout out to Wine Cavern. Um, apparently, Alberta has some pretty kick-ass liquor laws, because this guy can get anything, man. He says, whatever. You want beer from fucking the moon? I get you fucking beer from the moon. Okay. So it was on a rack, give me a clearance rack, uh, excellent store, uh, best beer room in Lethbridge. We've got some smoke here. Okay. I got a little bit of head happening. Uh, oops. Very strange head on this beer. That was a gnat. I'm not losing it. Alright. So, yeah, we'll sit there. Major coffee in this one, people. I mean, just uh, major, major coffee. Alright. Yeah, it's like we're eating coffee and cocoa. Big time. Like, this is this is powerful right here. So the head's, uh, you know, quite tan. You know, I, I'm doing this in a color scheme because it's an espresso stout. It's going to be black. Okay, this is pitting up real nice. Very dense. Uh, very impressive head on this. Oh, you can smell this beer all day. They need to make an espresso stout air freshener you put in your car. And it's a good idea until you get pulled over. But, or not, it's pretty good. Very light body, very drinkable, a lot of soot, a lot of char, a lot of chocolate, a lot of coffee, uh, but very nice balance and body to the beer. This is just badass really. It's got like wicked kick in the finish. Just you, you drink it, you know you can tell it's heavy, this and that, and also you get that last shot of power. Well, this is probably the best coffee beer I've ever had. It's it's so uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's not really burning. Uh, on the way down or anything, the carbonation is like quite file lighted, poor like a lunatic. It's just so smooth and unintrusive, and then you just get this huge, bold uh, flavor explosion, which really is um, almost separate from the body of the beer. Uh, it's kind of it all kind of happens at the beginning and in the aftertaste. The middle is just cold, cool fluid. It's very thin, very thin body. Yeah, there is just a, a mega shitload of coffee in here, basically. Uh, pretty nice lacing there. Sorry. All right. What do you think of that? Well, <clears throat> not much to say here. It's just pretty basic, uh, outrageously fantastic beer from Switzerland. My first impression of this brewery is it's very good. Um, definitely recommend picking this one up. As for rate, well, it's probably the best uh, coffee style stout I've had, espresso stout. Oh, got the spinal tap them. 11 out of 11. So it should taste better. This is a damn good beer. Uh, fabulous beer, actually. And the uh, uh, 
one thing I did forget to mention is this is 7.2% alcohol by volume and it's going down like nothing. This is a, a really awesome beer. Fantastic. 11 out of 11. Gotta love uh, crazy beers from crazy places. Beer Zerker and I'm out.